Hey, this is Anthony from Episode TV. You can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Simpson Ghost Helmet, available at Revzilla.com. Oh Simpson, oh Simpson, you listened, you learned, you have improved. This is the new Simpson Ghost. It's north of 400 bucks, and there's a full carbon fiber version north of $650. But I will go right out of the gates and say, Simpson, you have taken it to the next level. We've seen the M30, we've seen the Outlaw, we've seen the Outlaw Bandit. Varying degrees of sophistication for motorcycle helmets. Really badass in their look, but ultimately some of the functions that we looked at we thought were missing. We thought the shapes could be improved. We thought they could be a little bit more usable for today's modern day motorcyclists, even if you're staying with the design that is distinctively Simpson. If you're new to Simpson, these are Cobra Commander. These are Bane. These are helmets that really play out of DNA that came from drag racing, but Simpson's a known brand in racing that's been around forever, that's done motorcycle helmets, and is now on the gas rapidly improving them. You can tell I'm excited. We like what Simpson's done with the new Ghost. We think it's the closest thing that we've seen come out of their camp to innovation in a while, and I don't want to diminish it at all, I actually am very excited about this big leap forward. So, if we look at it, big standout features here compared to the other Simpsons in the line. Two pounds, 13 ounces, super lightweight. Fiberglass composite, DOT and ECE rated. And the big thing I'm gonna call out is the first time we're seeing them do a drop down sun visor. For the first pass at it, it comes down reasonably low. You're gonna have different shields you can work with. Again, dark smoke baked in. They haven't foregone any of the Simpson really badassery in the look. The other thing you're gonna note is this fit scheme to go along with it. Intermediate oval, true intermediate oval, and it's head shape. They've upgraded the internal guts. So again, when I pull them out and show them to you, they're wicking, they're antimicrobial, but this fit scheme is gonna be just like my head, which is most people in the US. Intermediate oval, slightly longer front to back, not overly round like we saw in I believe the M30, and not even neutral, which some of the other ones were still a little bit more earth shaped. This guy is going to be that natural ergonomic shape that hits most motorcyclists spot on. Super round, check out some of the other Simpson videos. They have models that are super round. If you're long and narrow, Simpson's probably not the best brand for you. But keep in mind, use the size chart, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And there's one more piece to call out when you think about fit. Again, you're buying this potentially online, you need to understand this. This helmet does fit one size large. I normally wear a medium. I wear a small in the Simpson Ghost, just the Simpson Ghost itself. So if you're in between sizes, you're going a size down. If you're in the middle of a size, I would still go the size down. The only way I might stay with that size is I'm at the very tippy top of that size curve and it's saying, hey, you know, a small is X centimeters to X centimeters and I'm at that very top level, I might stick with the same size that the size chart says. But again, Keep that in mind when you're looking at this helmet, you need to go a size down to get the right fit. If you buy the size from the size chart, it's going to be potentially too loose on your head. Now remember, if you have questions, lean on us, call us and walk your way through that conversation. We'll ship for free, as I said, and click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments or questions, your feedback, on the new Simpson Ghost helmet. Now from there, let's dive into the helmet itself. And again, starting from the outside, working our way in. I mentioned fiberglass composite shell, nice step up. Again, north of the $400 mark, you're looking at premium materials. Also from a ventilation standpoint, six vents. I always call these the whisker vents, right? They're gonna be open and closable. You can see I'm moving my fingers. If I turn it upside down to show you right here, you're gonna see it when I pull it out a little bit better there's going to be an actuator on either side that allow you to deplete the airflow there. Now I will say this, the other Simpson models don't vent nearly as well as this helmet. You get great airflow here. You do have some mini vents on the inside of the shield, but then on the top of the helmet, it's one of the first times we've really seen extensive venting. So you have vents across the top, you have winglets across the back. There's actually, I believe, 11 cutaways built into the EPS that I'm gonna show you when we de deconstruct from the inside out. They're gonna flow a tremendous amount of air through the comfort liner to your head. So again, really functional. Previous Simpsons looked great. We're more for a no frills audience. This guy is fully functional as a motorcycle helmet. Now in the future, if I'm I'm gonna nitpick, which I always do. I would like to see them maybe actuate these vents. They're trading off. They look really cool, these, these gills. But again, there might be some riders out there and I would love to see in the comments and over time, people say, man, I really wanna be able to close those vents. For me, if I'm buying a helmet that looks this cool, I kinda really dig the fact that they did Predator without the dreadlocks. I think it really, really works. And you can see how the scoops across the back, you do have a nice aerodynamic profile. It's gonna be stable at speed. And again, just overall, something very different than we see in the market. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is they 
made a lot of changes to the shield. This shield is very much motorcycle centric at this point. Nice upgrades are listening to feedback. Well done. So what I'm going to call out is it does have detents. They've upgraded the gasket along the seal, so it's going to be more weatherproof now. You're also going to see as I bring it down, it is now a toolless removal system. So again, just a quick change. They're going to do, I think, six different coatings for their face shield. The other thing I want to call out is you can't see the pins because I have a pre-production shield on this bad boy, but it's going to be pin lock max vision ready. So you're going to be able to buy a max vision pin lock to install within this shield. Again, if you want fog free riding, you go pin lock and you're getting the pin lock posts on your shield out of the box. Now, if I had to nitpick it a little bit or how would I improve it? I might make this a bit more of a positive lock when it comes down towards the bottom. Just one final detent. A lot of the manufacturers now are using a base plate that actually is spring loaded and pulls things back and creates that tighter seal. Maybe that's the next iteration. But again, this is a big leap forward for them. The other thing is this lock. I think the lock could be improved. Maybe they move the lock up here. But it's nice to see a locking me mechanism, period, working its way into the conversation. Now, last thing on the outer shield here is if you get a, get a glance at it, Simpsons logos. We know there are a lot of guys that are blacked out, that are going outlaw style, that are investing in Simpson. What you have the ability to do is these are just stickers. You can remove them. A little bit of WD-40 and you're de-logoing this. I know Simpson's saying, oh, you're killing our branding, but that's what I like. If I'm wearing this helmet as one of my full-time riders, I'm probably turning it into a fighter pilot. The other thing they're really gonna do is they're gonna offer you a dark smoke shield for the daytime, and there are a lot of guys out there that wanna put a clear internal visor instead of a sun visor, so at night they have the ability to ride that way and they can ride all day really murdered out with a blacked out Call it Darth Maul, call it Bane, call it the Predator Sands dreadlocks, but you're going to be able to go that direction. And again, I like that. They're listening to their market, taking feedback, and integrating it. That's what product development companies need to do. Now, if I pull my donut, and keep in mind too, two pounds, 13 ounces, one of the lighter helmets in full face DOT ECE that we have at Revzilla.com. Huge, huge selling point. If we start to pull out my guts, they're snaps and they're tough. They went away from the Velcro. Previous versions had Velcro. It was hard to perfectly line everything up. It's okay, it's just not ideal. Newer school technology uses snaps. So as I begin to pull this guy out, you're gonna see the snaps are tough. There we go. Dramatically different in your cheek pad neck roll. Big upgrade microfiber, wicking, antibacterial. If we look at the back side of it, you're gonna have a nice big cutout for a speaker. If I wanna put a comm unit on it, no issues. I know where my speaker goes and I know how it stays in place. This is a nice big upgrade. You can see the helmet that we had here is this extra small. And this extra small, actually I could get it on. Not my size, I'd be a small, but again, that's thinking about the fact that it runs a little large. You have to keep that in mind. And they're using more premium materials as they round this out. Now, I'm gonna pull out my other cheek pad here. Double D reconstruction, no surprises there. There's a reason some of these technologies are tried and true. You know, a lot of times in Europe, we'll see potentially manufacturers that will use a ratchet strap. They didn't go that direction here. So I pull out my double D, there you go. Nice pre-curve, again, big upgrade on the fit scheme here. I have a chin curtain for wintertime riding that's fully removable. Now you can get a great shot of the guts here. If we look here, there's my actuator. That's my whisker vent actuator. Very, very simple. And if I go back to the top, I'm gonna pull my comfort liner out. You're gonna see nice big cutaway. They did it right. You'll see it here on the front. They connected via plastic to plastic here along the brow, so you're never gonna get a pressure point along your forehead. But if I pull that out, 3D shape, basic, big cutaways for airflow, but again, using a nice and upgraded material much more premium in its design, the way that it's stitched, again, the supportive nature of this helmet, it's just gonna fit much better and be more functional. Again, nice step forward in the technology. Now, if I open it up from the bottom, this is what I really like they did. 11 cutaways, you have massive vent holes that are really promoting airflow and ventilation through the helmet itself. So you get that true three to four season out of this helmet, you have the ability now to ride it when it's really hot and give yourself a chance to, again, stay air conditioned, stay cool. And you can even see those big speaker pocket cutaways. There you go, right there where my finger is. Again, you have a big area that you're going to be able to have a speaker, something like maybe a Cena 20S that's a little thicker, higher dynamic range on that speaker for lows and highs, a little bit of a bigger speaker. You're not gonna have any issues with it. So all in, you can tell. I've ranted, I've raved. I'm talking about the next generation from Simpson. You're making an investment, but you're making an investment in technology that's now very much on par or ahead of what we're seeing around the industry. Super light, very functional, drop down sun visor, integrated well, and nobody's got this style down. The flat front with the Bane look, this is something that Simpson's been doing forever. This is distinctly them. The next step in your journey is to click the info button on your screen, on your desktop, or your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com. 
read other rider reviews of the new Simpson Ghost Helmet. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship it for you over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevsLaw.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to me on YouTube. Stay up to date with the latest reviews that are constantly rolling out. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.